Hey there, YouTubers. Um, so I wanted to do a quick video for you about the process of making a video. Um, so it short answer is it varies. Um, the longer answer is, uh, so for a video like this where I'm just talking to the camera, um, it's much quicker. I pretty much just do the, do the talking and the video and then upload it to YouTube and then go through the process of what I have to do after the upload. But for, um, <clears throat> excuse me, for something like the yoga video series that I've been doing, it's much, much, much more complicated and much more time consuming. Um, <clears throat> so for that, so I've done, I guess I did, I did about 30, I did about 35 yoga videos the first go around. I like to do a lot all at once because it takes, um, it's less time consuming that way. I, you know, I don't have to set up the camera multiple times. I don't have to get the lighting right. I don't have to get the mat out. I don't, et cetera, et cetera. There's, there's just a lot that I can avoid doing by doing a, a bunch of videos all at once. Um, so the first day that I did videos, I think I did 35 or so. Oh my gosh, my hair is so high, it's, the camera's almost cutting it off. Um, and then the second day that I did them, which was not right after, it was, a few, it was maybe a, a week later or so, um, I did about 45, 46 videos. Um, so again, while that saves a lot of time in terms of setting up equipment, it actually causes extra time later on. Uh, there's really no way to avoid either you get caused time up front or you get caused time later on so um, it's a matter of which is preferable and to me doing it that way is preferable um, so what happens is after after all the videos are recorded so I load the 35 or whatever however many videos onto the computer and then what I need to do is so be, because I forgot um, to do um, my usual sign off like thanks for watching see you again next time don't forget to subscribe check me out on patreon be safe out there all that stuff because I forgot to do that I had to add end cards to the videos which meant I had to run them through a video editor um, so that was pretty time-consuming and then um, so after I got that done um, I I had all the videos done, and then what I needed to do is I needed to make thumbnails of all those videos, because when you upload them to YouTube, if you haven't uploaded videos to YouTube, you don't know this. If you have, you do. When you upload a video, YouTube gives you three um, options for the thumbnail. And sometimes, once in a great while, the option, one of the options they give you is, is perfect the majority, the vast majority of the time, that's not the case. And, um, you have to upload your own thumbnail. Um, and I mean, in general, it's a good idea to upload, um, your own thumbnails because typically that gets, um, more people to click the video, more people to watch the video, etc., etc., etc. Um, I don't do that all the time, but I have been doing it more as of late. Um, so anyway, so what that involves is I have to essentially watch every video that I recorded, or at least watch part of it, and find out where the exact point is that I want to do the thumbnail. And then I do the thumbnail there. Um, excuse me. I could create my own thumbnail separate from the video, which is what a lot of people do. Like, they'll have a, a thumbnail of them... In fact, Rick Rick Beato's channel. I don't know if you watch him. Uh, he's a he does a lot of music video stuffs, um, but he frequently he has a thumbnail that has no relation to his video, which is again what a lot of people do. But his videos are usually like him looking like this way with his hand here, and then there's like a word on this side of the screen, and he's going like, or um, <laughs> anyway. Um, <clears throat> 
YouTube says that doing thumbnails like that is great and that people love them and that more people will click your videos and watch them if you do that. Um, but for the yoga videos, for example, I don't want to, I didn't want to do something like that anyway, <clears throat> because I'd rather have the actual pose that's like the bulk of the video, what the video is about, as the thumbnail. So I have to watch each video, find out where the good part for that pose is, you know, whether like I have my eyes half, half closed or like if I got a booger hanging out my nose, <laughs> something like that. Um, so I don't want to do those, obviously. So, so it takes quite a while to do that. So I had to do that for 30-something videos, and then the next time I had to do it for 40-something videos. That took a while. <clears throat> and then I have to name, when I, after I run it through the, oh, sorry. Before that even, I have to run it through the video editor to add the end cards. Um, and then I have to name them all. Now... I end up having to name them twice because when I name them first, saving them from the video editor, I end up having, after I do the thumbnails, I have to rename them because, okay, I'm back, sorry about that, and I just caused myself um, some extra time having to edit this video because now I'm going to have to splice two videos together, this one and the one I cut off previously. Because unfortunately, I wasn't using a video recorder that has a pause function, so I just had to start a new video. Anywho, um, so when I name them from the video editor, I have to rename them once I upload. Rename them once I upload them to YouTube because, for whatever reason, YouTube doesn't like um, special characters like parentheses or brackets or dashes. They remove those when you upload the video, so I have to redo all of that stuff. So if you notice at the end of my videos, I've got parenthesis, wheelchair user, parenthesis, and then parenthesis, paraplegic, parenthesis. YouTube gets rid of that, those parentheses, so I have to add them back in. And for the yoga videos, I have to add the brackets back in for the Sanskrit names of the poses. It's just, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot to do, and I have to do it twice, unfortunately. Um, I suppose, suppose I could not do that from the video editor and only do it when I upload them to YouTube, but that would be far more confusing to me. So I like to do it the way that I do it. Um, so anyway, there's there's that, there's all those parts. Then, once they're all uploaded to YouTube, I have to schedule them all. And as of right now, when I'm recording this, which is July 22nd, 2022, you will you won't get this video for quite a while um but as of when i'm recording this i've got about one video per week right now i'm uploading videos every friday i aim to stick to that but we'll see what happens depending on how much content i have excuse me uh, or depending on if i have any special videos it could be more frequent than that could be less frequent more than likely not less frequent um but it could be more frequent um, so I have to do all the scheduling and I have to run through all of YouTube's. So what I'm actually going to show you right now, I'm not going to show you on screen, but I'm going to give you an idea of what I have to do. So I click on edit draft and I'm editing the draft for adaptive yoga garland pose, which is Malasana wheelchair user paraplegic. So now I have to edit the description because I have the standard description for every video that I upload, but this video is the yoga video, so I have to upload the yoga specific description. So I do that and I have to edit it because I just copied one and I'm repasting repaste, it to all of them, but I have to edit it slightly each time because the one I copied was heron pose, and of course this is garland pose, so I have to change it slightly. I did that. So now I have to uh, do the details, or sorry, the title, which is adding the dash back in between adaptive yoga and garland pose, which is adding the brackets for malasana, which is adding the bracket, sorry, parenthesis, yeah, adding the parentheses for wheelchair user, adding the parentheses for paraplegic. Then I have to go down and I have to select which thumbnail I want. And remember, I had to create 35-ish thumbnails, and then 45, 46-ish thumbnails, so a total of about 80, uh, and I had to 
watch each video and figure out where the best point was to take them. And so this is, what did I say it was now? Garland pose? So I select Garland pose. Okay, there, it's up. It's uploaded. Now also with thumbnails, they can't be more than two megabytes. So unfortunately for the first, or fortunately for the first batch of thumbnails I did, only one was more than two megabytes, so I only had to resize one. But the second batch, all 45, or uh, sorry, all, all 46 of them were more than two megabytes. I had to resize all of them. <clears throat> okay. Now I'm going to add it to playlists. I'm going to add it to sports and exercise, and I'm going to add it to yoga. Blah, blah, blah. Video is not made for kids. I don't have to change anything there. Um, I, I don't have any paid promotions at this time automatic chapters is um, automatically selected I should edit the tags I've been forgetting to do that so I'm gonna have to go through all of the yoga videos again and edit all of the tags for all of the yoga videos uh, okay blah 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 I'll, well, I'm, I'll add it right now but yoga um, exercise We'll just do that for now. Um, now, monetization. If you have a channel that ha is monetized, um, you'd have, you, you, well, you don't have to do that, but you, I would assume that you'd want to. So, turn monetization on. Type of ads. Display, overlay, sponsored, skippable video ads, non-skippable video ads, blah, blah, blah. Only videos longer than eight minutes are eligible for ads during a video. Before video, pre-roll, post-roll, after video blah 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 okay so done with that now I have to do ad suitability there's inappropriate language adult content um, violent shocking content harmful and dangerous acts recreational drug content enabling dishonest behavior hateful derogatory content firearms related content sensitive events controversial issues I don't have any of those in my videos um, so I will submit, well, I'd say I don't have any of those in like 99% of my videos. Every once in a while, some, something, is, um, every once in a while I might drop an F-bomb or something like that. <laughs> um, so submit rating. Um, as of right now, my rating accuracy is high, so they accept my ratings, but if they find that changes, they'll have to do more reviews. So then we've got video elements and we have subtitles I don't I don't do subtitles for my videos um, and then there's cards I haven't done that but I do add end screens so I import that from previous videos because um, doing it a different way would be far more time consuming so let's take it from that one I, it doesn't really matter which one I take it from. All of them are pretty much the same. Then I have to do save changes. Okay, and that's set. Now I do checks. No copyright issues found. Add suitability is fine based on my rating. Okay. So now, as I mentioned, I have to schedule the video. So for right now, since I'm trying to do a yoga video every other week. So yoga, then non-yoga, yoga, non-yoga, yoga, non-yoga. Non Excuse me. Um, for right now, I have all those scheduled until the end of 2022. But I have far more yoga videos than even that. So for the moment, I'm just scheduling them for like May 2024, June 2024, and July 2024. Um, I'm just putting them f way far out, um, just sort of as a placeholder because I don't know where they will actually be yet until I get more non-yoga videos recorded. Um, so I think that process which I just walked you through, I think I started at about three minutes in this video, so that's about a five minute process. So a five minute process for, and it, it can actually vary a bit depending on if there's more to do with the title or description or whatever, um, but five minutes seems like a good estimate. Um, so five minutes times 
about 80 videos, because there's approximately 80 yoga videos. Uh, as of right now, maybe I'll do more, I don't know. Um, so that's, that's, that's quite a while. Let's, let's I can't do that in my head because I'm dumb. Um, five minutes times 80. So that's 400 minutes divided by 60. So that's 60. Okay, so that's about six and two thirds hours. Um, six hours and what, 40 minutes? And that was just the getting all the details correct after the video is uploaded. So the, so the entire process from start to finish, um, meaning recording the videos, which, would, which took several hours, um, up uh, getting the videos on my computer, editing the videos, um, thumbnails, Uploading them to YouTube, that's like five steps now. Uploading them to YouTube. Uploading, uploading the thumbnails, it's six steps. Changing the description, the title, etc., etc., that's seven steps. Scheduling, it's like, it's, it's between, I don't know, seven and ten steps or so. Um, um, all of that put together uh, takes about, I would say... Sorry, I'm <laughs> just trying to think in my head. Um, for, so for the first batch of videos, it took me about four, four or five days. And I haven't made it all the way through the second batch of videos. But I'm going to assume, because there are ten more videos, ten, eleven-ish more videos this time. I would say five, six, maybe seven days. And that's working pretty consistently for about six, seven hours a day just doing that. Um obviously take breaks to like eat and pee and whatever. Um, but for the most part, it's pretty cut time consuming and it's a lot of work. Um, so I do hope that you appreciate the videos. Now there's even more that goes into it than that. Really? That's just getting the videos up to YouTube. Then there's promoting the videos. Like I try to tweet them on Instagram, um, Facebook, all that stuff that that's time consuming too. So, um, um, anyway, I guess that's it for this video. A lot of, a lot of work goes into bringing these videos to you. So, um, I hope you appreciate them. I'm very, very thankful to have as many subscribers as I do, although it couldn't hurt to have a couple few more, um, because then I can bring you even better content because YouTube unlocks really cool features when you get to like 10,000 subscribers or more. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching. See you again next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Be sure to check us out on Patreon and stay safe out there. Okay, so I forgot something. Of course I forgot something because why not? Um, I remembered it as soon as I clicked to stop the video because I realized I'd have to watch the first video that I recorded and it reminded me that so if you're recording, if you're uploading a video with multiple parts, and in other words, splicing more than one video together, you have to check and make sure those splices went properly. Uh, so that's more time added um, to that. And now I'll have to do that twice for this one. <laughs> um, so it's just another thing. I'm sure, I'm sure there are other parts of the process that I'm forgetting, uh, but that's, that's a pretty good general idea. Okay. Bye-bye for real this time. <laughs>